Hey, it's Josh with Hardy Brothers Outdoors. Uh, for those of you returning, welcome back. And for those of you that are here for the first time, thanks for joining us. Uh, we're just moving uh, this uh, forklift behind me with my tractor, and I'm getting a whiff of what smells like maybe a uh, dead mouse. So I was getting ready to check that out and uh, wanted to kind of point out the area that I find mice the most in my tractor. Uh, a couple of things that uh, I learned just talking from Jason that he's doing to try to deter the mice and his and uh, Have you guys comment down below what you're doing to keep mice out of the tractor. So um, We're gonna pull off this uh, This side here. This is where I generally find them and let's see what we've got in here uh, I guess before the winter I fired this up one day and I had a, a mother and a bunch of babies coming out of here so I cleaned the the nest out and um, I'm guessing we got some more, so let's check it out. All right. So as expected, right down in here, I've got a huge uh, mouse nest here. So um, I'm gonna clean that out and then uh, see what we've got in there. It definitely smells bad, so uh, hopefully we can get that taken care of. part of it. Yep. All right. Well, I'm guessing it's just the nest that stinks. When I get back home, I'll take the, uh, the uh, leaf blower and blow that out, and get it cleaned out real good. But let's take a look down in here again. You can see this big cavity down here. So that's where I've been getting mice. And uh, most of my cords are covered. Jason mentioned that he puts, uh, he puts some heavier duty tubing around some of his, his uh, wires to keep them from getting chewed. And he's put some poison down in there as well as, uh, did you say you had anything else in there other than just poison? I just put a couple blocks of poison. I figure if they eat it, they head out of there. So I saw another product recently that's like a peppermint product and uh, I'm curious how well that works. If any of you are using that, uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. It's like Uncle, Uncle Bucks or some, something like that that's a peppermint. But anyway, this is the spot where I usually get mice. I don't know how to keep them out of there, but I'm going to put something in there, maybe mothballs, maybe some poison and, and see if we can't deter them from getting in there. I've also seen people use uh, dryer sheets. My neighbor has a camper and he puts those all around to keep the uh, mice out. So curious how you're keeping mice out of the tractor. Uh, I've seen people say that there's a high expense when they start chewing up your wires if they get in there too much. So um, anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day. We'll see you next time.